Welcome back to Kenshi and welcome to the channel. I'm Twisted Logic. Right now the team is headed over to the hub and we're going to stop by uh, just to check out to make sure we didn't leave anything too important there. And with the plan of this episode is to head over to this way station, find an arm for Sue, and then do some exploration in the swamps. If you enjoy this video, hit the thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments. We're back at the hub and we have some copper to sell. We'll give all that copper to Old Blue. Excellent. And let's just check the storm house. Now we got 100 iron as well. Give that to hamburger. No food, and let's just check this research bench up here. Oh, great. So we have a couple things. So let's just see what we can sell at the bar before we head over to the tech hunter's base because I have a feeling that they're going to run out of money if we sell too much copper. Okay, sold all my iron and bought all of their food. They still have money, so we're going to sell some copper. Uh, okay, excellent. Barman's out of money, that's what I like to see. So we'll head over to the canyon here. I'm going to come south and then to this way station. Hopefully Sue's got an arm. we got a decent amount of money now. Almost 20,000 cats. And I'll skip ahead with movie magic. Just taking out these dust bandits. Tonka's a teen now. So Tonka's getting up there with eight toughness. Attack is still pretty low though. And Kilrog's still a pup. Now that I have some injured characters, let's see who's a uh, worthy example. <laughs> okay, Hamburger here. I'm just going to move Hamburger right here. Select everybody. And right click and hold. And now I have the splint injuries option. I only have the option there because of his leg. Hold down shift and let go. And now everybody has the... Uh, if I turn jobs off or everybody. They're going to medic first, skip all the turned off jobs, and then uh, splint rigging. So that option is only available on characters that, that have the injury. I wasn't able to do it earlier. So now everybody has splint rigging. As a job, we're going to continue to the way station. And we met some unfortunate gurus along the way and got some meat from them. Before I left, I went and uh, got all the cooked meat out of the food barrel for her hamburger. And then Tonka's got a lot of building materials here. I should have brought steel plates. <laughs> So, I might be trading some of the, see if I have any steel plates anywhere, if we can get some. Excellent, we've made it to the way station. And I just want Sue to check out what kind of arms, I hope they have right arms in here. Welcome, friend. Human, eh? Need a new arm or something? Yes, yes, that's exactly what I need. Okay, that's a left arm. Left arm. Left arm. Okay, we got a specialist. That's left. Specialist right. That's a left arm. And what is this last one? Specialist right. So the, the, the only choices are... There's only one choice. <laughs> the only choices are there's only one choice. Value is 1400 so we can afford it. Uh, let's buy it. 
Okay, so this is the right arm. Excellent. So has got her arm back. 150 hit points. So stronger than the previous arm. Although there's some debuffs now. Lock picking, thievery, and swimming. Bonus isn't dexterity, which is pretty good. Oh, and Sue has armor plates here. Some of the, I mean, some of the iron plates here. So, let's see what we can sell. Old Blue's got copper to sell. So we can get some of our money back. We got animal skins, we can sell these. I do want to set up I do want to find a base where I get a large animal population coming through. I want to find a location to build a base where there's a large animal population for the purposes of leather working. I don't know if I'm going to find that this time, but let's talk to this construct trader. Let's trade. We got a generator core here, yes. Buying that. Gnu can hold that. Sell the copper he has. Oh, 26 iron plates right here. This is perfect. So, Tonka. Oh, that guy frightened me. <laughs> Maybe that many. Oh, we can buy wheat straw. Yes, 10 wheat straw. And... See how many design plates we can get. No room for that. I think that looks really great. I would like to have more sleeping bags, but with this right here, all these building materials plus these steel plates, and if I give Hamburger these, uh, or if I give Tonka these cactus here as well. Yeah, now Tonka has everything we need to set up another food producing base build the building and the mine the iron plate machinery and the stone processor plus the two farms and some beds it's great cotton hemp would be nice to have Hemp is pretty prolific in the swamps. Basic furniture, right click to learn the tech, I'm gonna get that. Blueprints there. Random furniture, research already known, okay. And what is this, advanced harpoonery. This needs research bench four, we haven't unlocked that yet. Every time I see these generator cores, I'm gonna buy them until I have like a decent amount for strength training. But I think that this uh, shopping run so far has been a success. Excellent. Let's check out the bar. Nobody I really want to talk to here except for the barman. Let's do business. Six sleeping bags. Excellent. Mercenary tent research already known. Bolts heavies. So these are heavy bolts right here. And this blueprint allows us to create that ammunition. We can get the bread. Yeah. Hamburger can get the bread. And Old Blue can get sleeping bags. I'm gonna sell this backpack here that GNU has and buy this one just because of the there's not too much of a difference I don't think I think you can stack I think you can stack items better I'm not a hundred percent sure but I think you can stack items better in this backpack than this one but I'm not entirely sure a hundred percent on that this is combat skill mo minus five. This one is minus five. They look exactly the same. Oh, stealth is minus four. This is stealth times 0.5. So it's slightly... 
Okay. That's okay. Old Sebi's mercenary tent. Food is okay. I think we're okay on food. Logan's got some plates as well. Yeah, this looks great. This looks great. Ready for an adventure now. Anybody need to rest? The bulls sorta of need to rest. The only the only characters that sorta of I would give rest to right now are the bulls. Let's head down here. To this peninsula. Somewhere right over here from the way station. Southwest. And I'll check again the health before we enter the swamps. Maybe we'll set up a camp over there. Tick Hunter's notes the swamps. Our expedition to establish a deep swamp outpost was a total failure. We just didn't come equipped with the appropriate tech. It's no place for a simple outpost. There's no wind for generators. Regular crops can't be grown there. The damn raptors are bigger and meaner and don't even get me started on those goddamn spiders. Zed. I don't know how the swamp is surviving that place. Everything is trying to eat you and your supplies. It was only supposed to be a simple scouting run, so I took a bunch of rookies with us. That was a mistake. Only three of them made it back. That way station saved our lives, I think. Anonymous. You better be good at carrying people, because you're going to be carrying most of your damn squad through that damn swamp while friggin' blood spiders are biting at your heels. Don't leave any of your wounded alone for 10 minutes or you're going to come back with a pile of clothes and a goddamn empty sack of skin. Threat. So yeah, there's probably some tech to be dug up somewhere in there, but I don't think it's worth it. Fish. We're headed into the swamp. We are resting up Tonka, Kilrog, Soto, and Gnu. I got some movement down here. Let's check it out. See how close we can get. Oh, slave traders. And a wandering assassin. Right, I'll just speed up time till everybody's healed up. Oh, Sue's arm looks pretty cool. Nice. Very nice. She can use two handed weapons again. Excellent. Camp's dismantled and we're good to go. And the plan is to take it slow and steady. I'm gonna head south. If it gets too dangerous, we may turn around. We're gonna try to make it to Shark. Heading into the swamp. The plan is to take it slow and steady and head to Shark. It's almost due south from here. The rain is a nice change from the arid climate of the border zone. But I've heard about these blood spiders, swamp ninjas, and red sabers. Keep a close eye out and stay vigilant. Attack. Here's some. Attack all. Slow speed. Let's see. Attack is 43. This is a blood spider, part of the swamp creatures faction. Slightly injured already. I don't know if I hit him just now. Or if he, if he arrived injured. Attack is 43. Toughness 39. Now we took him down already loot and when we take the teeth here kills them that was this one <laughs> this one right here this is the one selected as same as inventory when I take the teeth dead
Excellent. Just don't want them getting back up. Check the map. I want to be heading due south about. These ones better have more loot on them than the last lot of schmucks. Beat them down. Okay, we're just going to move over here a little bit. I'm going to station Logan away. We just discovered rot, and this is a uh, red saber from the red sabers faction. He should have a group. Uh, I'm not seeing the rest of them though. Not too tough. Let's see what he's got. Mid grade salvage. Clothes are worth money. Take them. Okay, excellent. Where's Rot now? Oh, okay. So we're gonna head to Rot. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got some runners, runners here. Rest of the Red Sabers. You <laughs> know, hide behind this tree. Sneak. They don't see us. They see us. <laughs> oh, there's a decent amount of them here. Logan, I'm just going to put over here. Kill Rog as well. I know Kill Rog is going to go down fast, so I just want to pull him out. He's doing some damage. He's inflicting. None of my team fell in battle yet. like that oh, excellent we won excellent nobody hurt too bad nobody hurt too bad I'm gonna loot These rat and hats are pretty good. There's a there's an iron version that I want to get, um, but these give twenty percent acid rain protection. Excellent. We got most of their stuff. I wasn't too thorough. Killrog ran off again. Gotta be careful about that. Who's this? Wandering assassin, Shinobi thieves. Okay, and a uh, blood spider here, unconscious. We'll loot this blood spider. So waiting for it to get back up, I bet. There we go. Everybody right here. Okay, excellent. Killrog really likes to run off the bone dogs. I just had to stop to patch Killrog up. Excellent. Go medium speed for a little bit. Should be okay. Versus this team right here, the swamp isn't too bad. As long as they don't get split up. Just make sure everybody stays together. It can turn into a uh, real difficult situation fast though.
So I gotta stay vigilant. Okay, I think we're swimming. Yep, we're swimming. So I think this is some of these characters' first time swimming. So I think they're only gonna be moving at like one mile per hour. Yeah, <laughs> one mile per hour. So what I'm gonna do is uh, move as fast as possible. Tell everybody to move as fast as possible here, not waiting for anybody else. See who the slowest ones are. It's like Sue and Gnu. And so what I'll do is cut ahead, but I'll click around. Kind of just pulling Sue and Gnu towards the other side of the shore. The other side of the shore is the town here, so cut ahead until then. Oh, okay, we got blood spiders in the water here. Can't find them in the water. Okay, everybody made it. Excellent, excellent. Let's go back down to regular speed. side. Okay, gate's over here. Excellent. What is this? Oh, dying red saber here. We'll take his gear too. <laughs> There's a bunch of them here, but that's okay. Get the show on our road. Welcome to Rod Outlanders. Mind your business. Excellent. Just holding down control and looking around. I found this traveler shop. So we're going to go over to this traveler shop right here. Oh, the wandering assassin's here as well. Oh, he's moving fast. Excellent. Excellent. Take a look at my stock, traveler. What are you buying? Show us your goods. Oh, excellent, excellent. So a lot of hats and got some food here, map here. Map of the Shek Kingdom, we already know that one. Just gonna sell some stuff to him, sell some junk. Buy the food. All the food. You can't afford that. Oh, okay. Sell more junk to him. <laughs> Okay, I want to buy some hemp for old blue. Ten. Just ten hemp. The rest of his fish. I have a little over, almost 5,000 I have right now. Almost 5,000 cats. We can sell the fabric. 516, okay. Okay, excellent. Excellent, I think we're good here. Got some more food and sleeping bags. And sold all the junk. Let's check the maps. And we also got hemp. Uh, 
Um, I want to try to avoid swimming as much as possible. I'm not sure what this nest is, but we're going to investigate it. How do we get out of town? Everybody must are right here outside the city gate. Soda, what's going on with your arm? Oh, not too bad, okay. Maps, we're going to investigate this nest. I don't remember if blood spiders have nests or not. I don't know if it's random patrols or nests, I don't remember. Discovered a village, let's check out the map. Oh, okay, this is Swamp Creatures, Swamp Raptor Nest 22 we're at. Okay. We got a village down here. Let's make our way towards that. Everybody, everybody. Okay, we discovered another village. Uh, that one's over here. So it looks like we don't have to be too close to discover. Just being vigilant. Oh, we got a newt. We got to do another crossing here. Oh, it doesn't look too bad, though. Everybody to this little island right here. Okay, excellent, excellent, excellent. We are at village. Got a bar here. Live food. And what is this? Trade goods right here. Material trader. Check out the material trader. See what he's got. Take a look at my stocks, Roma. Looking to buy something? Show me what you got. Okay, overpriced, overpriced flour they have. Underpriced hashish. And books are a little bit of a value. Uh, I think we're good right now. I don't think we have anything to sell. Well, good news got this blueprint. Let's learn that. Basic furniture. Excellent. Check out this bar. So who are these guys? Okay. These are just black shifters from the black shifters fa faction. Cross the black shifters and you'll pay the price. That's a uh, local government slash mafia, I believe. <laughs> And we have a loser with a dry out. Whoa, whoa, I had a plank. What are you doing to me, Hive? Those were my last cats, damn it. <laughs> see who's in the bar here. Anti-slavers pacifier. We got Dr. Chung from the Drifters.
silver shade from the swampers. Some beds if we need to rest. Who's this? Another uh, guard, black shifters. And a swamp, swamper casino dealer. Now this is the second time uh, I came to this bar. The first time, the first video that I tried to make, I must have left some program running in the background and the frames were too terrible. When I, after I edited it, it looked, it looked bad on YouTube. So I was like, I gotta redo the episode. So it's a little different this time. It was just like I, re I left um, my video editor program running in the background and it, the game looked fine to me, but the recording was not fine. I was dropping flame frames or left and right. Let's talk to this bar man. Upper game of cow crawlers outlander. Full six rollback gets the girl. Okay, let's play. Okay, weeping the guru and tugging the digits. And we got a box of red. Fishing with the box of red or rolling back roll monk. Fishing. Okay, pulling out. And we're fishing with the box of red. Freshen up the old man and we're weeping the guru. Gold. And they've licked it with a stone roller. 200 cats. Congratulations, Roma. Want to play again? Okay, let's play. Okay, pinching the cotton and charging the wedges. And we got an arrow in the neck. Fishing with an arrow in the neck or rolling back, traveler. Roll it back. Okay, slacking the whiskers, cats in the house. And we're rolling back with an arrow in the neck. Rolling, rolling. And to clean lick with a box of red. 200 cats. Congratulations, Roma. Want to play again? Okay, let's play. Okay, slacking the whiskers and tugging on the digits. And we got a box of red. Fishing with the box of red or rolling back, Roma. Fishing. Okay, pulling out. And we're fishing with the box of red. Exposing the girls and forking the lovers. And to dry out with a wolf tail. Bad luck, Outlander. Chance at a cat back and play again? <laughs> no, never mind. <laughs> So this game, Cat Crawlers, is a game where it's one through seven cards. You can never be dealt card one or seven, so you're always going to get between through two through six, and you have to guess if the next card is going to be higher or lower than the last one. And the usual prize is 200 cats for winning, and then every once in a while you get a 600 cat win. You have to learn the code in order to play it, and I don't know all of them off the top of my head. I box them red, I believe, is card two, and a wolf tail is card one, but the rest of them I don't know. So when I get the box them red, I'm gonna most likely guess that the next card is gonna be higher. However, in this last round, the wolf tail is a one. So let's talk to Dr. Chung. Name's Dr. Chung. Best surgeon you're gonna find in town. Need a new face? I can give you a real pretty smile. Yeah, wait, God damn it! those goons took my favorite chin chisel. Never mind, it's still good, it's still good. If, any can, if anyone can work miracles with a second-rate chin chisel, it's Dr. Chung. Miracles? What are you implying about my face? Oh, nothing, you got a, a real pretty smile already, Outlander. But beauty's in the eye of the beholder. Some folks want to stand out. They want to dazzle. They want to pop. They want people to run away in all of their giant oversized jumbo heads. How about some jumbo hands? Uh, okay, go on then. 200 cats. No thanks. Anyway, tell me about these goons. So, so Dr. Chung here, after I speak to him, oh, then I have two different options for a plastic surgeon. This one right here, choice number three I'm going to pick. Oh, no thanks. Tell me about these goons. What happened? 
Those goons from the Twin Blade Clan. They kept smashing up my goddamn surgery. Hounded me for organs. But I don't get enough organs for them these days. Tell you what. Just wait till they let their guard down. I'll give them their gummy goddamn faces and smash them up. <laughs> that sounds dangerous. Don't do that. Why don't you just leave? I'm a doctor. They ain't nothing for me in the Outlands. And I ain't interested in moving to cities neither. Let's just say my activities have pissed off a lot of the wrong people. Why don't you come with us? We can use a doctor. With you? Heh, maybe I will. That'll really piss off those twin blade goons when they lose their number one organ harvester. I can just imagine the look on their faces. All right, I'm in. Dr. Chung joins the party. Let's check out his stats. Field Medic 39, Science 18, Athletics 10, Melee Attack is already 5, Defense 5, and everything else is pretty much baseline. So we're going to have to protect Dr. Chung a little bit. Just want to resort him. Inventory. He comes with a uh, cotton shirt, cargo pants, samurai boots, splint kit, first aid kit, flesh cleaver. I'm going to give Dr. Chung a toothpick. And a bunch of toothpick arrows here. So Dr. Chung is now ranged. Uh, I'm going to hold down shift, press medic. I don't believe that I can add the splint task right now because I don't have any injured characters. Uh, so that can wait. Excellent. Silver Shade. Let's talk to Silver Shade. Hear that? All I hear is noisy bar drunks. Exactly. I can barely hear myself think in this bar. A lot of people hate crowds, but me, I love them. I can't seem to shake the feeling of loneliness ever since I left the hive. It so comforts me. So why don't you go back? You're kidding me, right? That place is a prison, an illusion, and it's a miracle I ever broke free. Growing accustomed to something, like the brainless crowds of the hive, isn't the same thing as missing something. I suppose you're right. What brings you here anyway? I've gone and worked up a debt at the casino. Okay, buddy, we're not interested in your... I'm not getting involved in that. Good luck. We're not interested in your gambling. You gotta be responsible. Okay, we're on the way. We're on the move. Okay, everybody, I have to reset and move together because Dr. Chen Chung joined us. Oh, here's a gate right here. Maps. Oh, Mudtown. Excellent. So, Mudtown, we're headed to Shark. And we're just going to group up right here. We got river raptors right here. Excellent. River raptors are part of the swamp creature. Oh, they're swamp raptors. Part of the swamp creatures faction. And they're scavengers. So they shouldn't attack us outright. But if there are dead bodies, then... They may eat them. Tonka got stuck a little bit. Okay. That's why I like to muster here. So they shouldn't attack us outright. They'll defend themselves if we attack them. Uh, however, if there's any dead bodies that they come across, they'll start eating. Excellent. Maps. This way.
We're on the move again. Yeah, so I, I was recording this. I recorded in an episode. And then I recorded the episode after that. The next day. And the first episode... It was um, dropping too many frames, and uh, you couldn't even see animation of properly. It was hard to look at, hard to watch. So I redid it. I got a dead body here. A swamp ninja. Take this ninja blade for Dr. Chung. Dr. Chung gets the ninja blade. Uh, faction uniform, so I don't want to equip it. And the value of the uniform is very low here. Three cats for the pants, 22, 18. This fog mask is really good for dust storm and gas protection. However, it's not that good for what we're up to. So we're headed this way. I don't split up too much. It's starting to get dark. So there's maybe more Swamp Ninjas or whatever killed that Swamp Ninja. <laughs> it's got to be vigilant at all times. Excellent, we've arrived at Shark, Swamp City. Got a couple harpooners up here. Hounds faction. This guy's on this, but he's glitched down here. <laughs> Okay, let's see here. Got a bunch of roaming guards here. No gate here, so anything can kind of come in. And we have some shops here as well. It's like a robotics equipment shop. Trade goods. Got a bar right here that we're going to check out. We have a traveler's shop over here. Most of the shops are closed right now. Weapon shop, a second bar. And this one right here is the local government. So everybody into this place. The dancing skeleton. Okay, excellent. We got a lot of uh, a lot of patrons in this bar. Let's see if anybody needs to heal. Soto can get a bed. Tonka needs some more time as well. Okay. some mercenaries here that I can hire? Who's this? Oh. Who is this? 
Harp from the Drifters. Let's talk to Harp. Are you looking for recruits? If you hire in Roma, I'm ha I'm available for six thousand cats. I don't have enough money. I'm not interested. I'm very interested, and I don't have enough money. I want this skeleton man to join us. Let's see if we can sell anything to this barman or bar lady. Welcome to the dancing skeleton. Best bar in the swamps. Throw cat to our lovable dancing mascot, Nelly, for a month of good luck and a full belly to boot. Nelly, nice sign. Let's trade. Hashish for sale for 123 cats each. Not a bad price. I think we're going to just sell some extra building materials we have here. 7,347 cats. Excellent. I'll have Dr. Chung go talk to this skeleton man. Are you recruiting? If so, I'm available for 6,000 cats. Deal. You're hired. <laughs> Harp, I'm going to rename. And I'm going to hit randomize a couple times. Excellent. Katoshi joins the team. Confirm? Yes. <laughs> uh, he's not that much shorter than everybody else, but he's the tiny little robot here we got. <laughs> See how he compares to Logan. Oh, he's about the same size as Logan. Okay. He could have. I could have made him shorter. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, but Otto is lanky. <laughs> He's like half the size. That's great. Let's see. Let's check out the map here. Uh, I don't really have that much money left. 1,000. Let's take a look at Katoshi's inventory and stats. Comes with a Wakazishi. Rusted junk. And a half used skeleton repair kit. See his stats. Pretty baseline, some basic weapons. Not the worst, not the best. I guess the price was, I was willing to pay a little bit more because he's a skeleton. Now let's get everybody together over here. And on Dr. Chung, I'm going to have to redo medic to include robotics. Sue as well. Hold down shift medic. And that adds robotics here. I want to move that up in the list. So medic first, then robotics, then splint rigging. We're going to do that for everybody, and it's going to take a little bit, so I'm going to cut ahead. Excellent. So this is complete. Medic first, then robotics or splint rigging, then the next one. So on a few of the characters, I have splint rigging and then robotics. They need to have a splint or robotics kit in their inventory in order to do that job as well as a medical kit if they want to be a medic. So I need to get Dr. Chung some medical. He's got a splint and a basic. So I'm going to have him trade with uh, Hamburger. I believe he has some. Yeah, we'll give him some more medical stuff. And now I can give this crossbow as well to... Katoshi trade. So I can give this junk bow to Katoshi as well. And a few of the, not that many, <laughs> a few of the toothpick bolts. 
uh, some first aid kits as well. Now, uh, Katoshi Robot here, the skeleton, he can't have a shirt, can't have a hat, and can't have boots, so he can only have pants and armor. Okay, so I don't have any extra pants or armor for Katoshi. Or Dr. Chung. We should get some eventually. Maybe we'll head over to the edge of town. Excellent, we're headed right over here. Oh, Katoshi. It has to, I have to reset this. There we go, move together. Excellent. Very nice, very nice. So I don't want to head too far away from Shark at this point. I just want to see if there's a... Maybe like Red Sabers or Swamp Ninjas. So I think I'm just going to hang out in this area a little bit. See if we get any groups of humanoids walking around. Oh, 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 oh. Those that enter the swamp don't leave the swamp. Yes, red sabers right here. Attack all. The other ones are over here. Oh, uh, blood spiders here. See, this is how dangerous it can be. <laughs> Katoshi is going to just loot this red saber here. There we go. Armor and rag skirt. Take the medical kit. I'll take everything. Everybody else regroup right here. Make sure these spiders are down. Chung's doing some medical right there, it looks like. Excellent. Oh, here are the red sabers now. Low speed. Okay, archers. Katoshi, Dr. Chung, and Logan. Just fall back over here. Nice, I got three archers now. Soto's arms are messed up. Full back Soto. And you're gonna first aid on yourself. Oh great, excellent, they're all down. Katoshi, let's look for some gear. this armored I like this armored rags a little bit better chest armor stomach is 20% left arm oh stomach okay maybe not maybe not because of the coverage because of the coverage that's okay I'm just gonna loot these guys and there we go Okay, so this is not a faction uniform. It's just stolen from Red Saber. Pants are worthless. But we're going to loot everything and I'll cut ahead. I think, think I got everybody. I think I got everybody. Let's see here. How damaged did we get? How messed up did we get? Good new. Looking okay. Dr. Chung. Chest is damaged. Toughness four. Sue's right arm. Katoshi is doing robotics to her arm right there. 
Yeah, she does. He's the only one with the skeleton repair kit. Uh, she's fixed up. We got a blood spider right here. Nice. This one. gonna head back in town because I do want to at least see what we can sell and check out that weapon shop I'd like to get normal pants for dr. Chung something good oh we can give him the armored rag skirt here somebody's got it armored rag skirt colored dr. Chung Get Dr. Trunk cheated with logic. There we go. There we go. Dr. Chung is looking very, very red saber. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, right over here to that weapon shop. Oh, 0800, excellent. 0800 hours, day 87. Katoshi and Dr. Chung have joined the team. I don't like the look of that one. Take a look at my stock drift, huh? Looking to buy something? Let's do business. KLR series left arm right here. That's pretty good. Got some colored armor. Specialist grade samurai pants. Excellent. An iron hat. Iron hat blue right here. Standard grade. This is pretty good. Plus we have some rusty chain mail. Value 8,000. Uh, I'm going to sell what I can. Three thousand for this one. 5,000 for the hold saber. I'm going to upgrade Rain the Giant's weapon here. I didn't get that much. Only 7,000 cats with all the things that I could sell. So I'm going to upgrade Rain the Giant's cleaver here. And see what else I can upgrade. Ruka, heavy weapon class. So Katoshi will do, uh, if I look at Katoshi's stats here, heavy weapons, he's got a racial bonus, 1.2 XP. So maybe I give Katoshi the um, plank here. So Ruka, I'll think about that later. I'll think about that later. I think it's okay for right now. I want this hold saber for somebody. Kang. Kang needs a better backpack. Gotta replace this wooden backpack for Kang. Anybody have a big backpack? Other than Logic? Sue does. Okay. Okay. So Sue and... Kang and trade backpacks. Let's do business. And now Kang, Fallen Sun goes into the backpack for when we want to fight Beak Things, Gorillas, and Leviathans. Put that right there. And the hold saber goes into his inventory. Can't afford that. 
Oh, 1,000 cats away. 1,600. Can I sell... I really don't want to sell those generator cores. How much are these arrows going for? 200. I really like the defense bonus of that hold saber. Defense plus six. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get this iron hat for Dr. Chung. Iron hat blue. I wish I could afford more, but unfortunately I can't get the hold saber. It's okay, it's okay. Everything's great. That's great. I think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. Let's check out this other bar right here. Oh, I got a swamp creature right here. Swamp raptor right here. Eating some blood spiders. <laughs> it looks like they don't. Looks like they don't bother. I heard somebody scream no. Where was that from? Looks like the swamp creatures, uh, the swamp raptors are kind of okay to be in town here. I thought I saw somebody scream no, but I guess they died. 22 damage inside the bar. Let's walk in. Blood spider in the bar. <laughs> Leave him to rot. Oi, over here, traveler. Who's this? Ears from the hound's diplomatic status. Suck to ears. Logan. So new in town, yeah? Well, newbie. See, I'm known as the ears of the hounds in the swamps, right? And if you want to get noticed around here, you got to go through me, huh? Okay, so what's your point? Oh, I got to spell it for you, newbie. People show up. They're, uh, they used to usually want to in on the gang, see? Ain't many people surviving the swamps alone, yeah? And everyone knows the hounds is the best of them all. And me, I can help get you in. I prefer to stay a uh, newbie in town. So you can help get me noticed? Of course I can, leave it to me, huh? But I ain't one to do favors for any old chump, right? Gotta smooth me over. And I'll put a little good word in for you, see? In the hounds, we got a saying, right? You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. And it's a huge fucking back scratching orgy round here. Yeah? So you pay me 2,000 cats, and I'll get you an audience with the big grim. Deal, 2,000 cats. Then consider it done, newbie. Go see big grim. Okay, so paying 2,000 cats seem to have unlocked a character here. Big Grim. This is a holy pacifier for the Holy Nation, so if I want to clear my bounty on logic with the Holy Nation, then I can speak to this gentleman. I believe that I can't afford it. Uh, I only have 500 cats, so it's not going to do it. Let's see that the price is anyway. So piss off the wrong people, eh? Well, not to worry. I ain't one to judge. Certainly not one to kick drowning assholes either. I'm all ears. Here, sit down, sit down. Welcome to my office. They shove an empty grog tankard from the table with a loud crash. Uh, we'll just get to the point. How much? A hundred thousand cats. Forget it, I'm not interested. Okay, so where is this uh, 
Hex from the JRPG Drifter. Double from the Drifters. Maui from the Drifters. Is that Maui? Mia. Mia. I don't know how to say that. It's three vowel. Uh, Barthug from the Vagrants. Barthug from the Vagrants. Hammett from the Drifters. Swamp Casino Dealer. Green from the Drifters. I think that that other character that I want to speak to is in the local government building over here. I'm just going to come right here. Send Logan in. I just entered and paused the game. Oh, this is Big Grim right here. Excellent, excellent. Big Grim. Logan's gonna talk to Big Grim. New guy, eh? Heard you got something to say to me. Go. I wanna join the hounds. You do, eh? Well, you wanna join the hounds, you gotta work for the hounds. You in or you out? Newbie, go. In. Alright, pup, I'm gonna send you on a little smuggling mission. You're gonna take these packages and you're gonna dump them in the UC and you ain't gonna get caught and then you're gonna bring me back profits if you ain't back in the week I'll kill you Let's see this inventory here okay so they gave us four hashish to smuggle into the United Cities um, and we have a week to do it. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> so we can get into... Let's see. Clown, Steady, Canton, or Morin. Or Morn. Canton, Clown, Steady, and there's also Drifter's Last, but Drifter's Last is further. It's the closest one, I think. Clown Steady is going to be the closest if I want to complete the task. It's possible that I can get a bunch of money. It's only, let's see, let's see. Only four pieces of hashish here. It's possible that if I can raise that much money in less than a week, I can fake that I went and, and give them the profits. But I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. Day 87, 10.55 a.m. And maybe we'll, maybe we'll, I think I'm gonna continue the plan to the ruin here and see what kind of spoils we get from the ruin and if we can get enough money perhaps we can perhaps we could fake that we sold it uh, she shouldn't understand just because the united cities is so so much of a i don't know if i can make it there in a week and back <laughs> Day 87. I left on day 84 or day 85 when I set out on this journey, so it didn't actually take me that long. Eighty-six. Eighty seven. Maybe maybe um Maybe I can make it to Clown City and back. But well, Logic has a bounty in the United Cities as well. Anybody else? Logic's the only one with the bounty, so he should be the only one to go. Single mission. <laughs> I actually
Actually, it's Logan's responsibility. He's the one that did the talking. I'm going to have to sleep on it. Thank you very much for watching and subscribe for more videos.